Welcome to Acromag's I2O Advantage presentation. Why do I need peer to peer technology? Very simply, running analog and discrete wires over a long distance can be cost prohibitive. The cost of wiring and the labor of wiring may be very high, in some cases, in excess of $40 per foot. In other cases, there may be physical barriers preventing the laying of new wire. These things can be trees or bodies of water or buildings or uh, factory plants. In those cases, a good peer-to-peer -peer wireless technology is needed. How can I bring new I.O. into a legacy system? Well, it's not easy. The problems with bringing new I.O. into a legacy system are that controllers aren't always set up for digital or field bus communications. They only have analog and discrete I.O. cards. Extra wires aren't always available in the existing signal wire uh, bundles. Uh, this makes bringing new I.O. into a control panel very difficult. And wireless communications are not always feasible uh, to bring back remote signals from boilers, burner management, or even pump stations. In these cases, users are forced to either pull new wire or search for ways to use existing infrastructure wiring to bring in new I.O. into their legacy system. Acromag's answer to bringing in new I.O. into legacy systems is using Ethernet along with Acromag's I2O technology. The widely installed and growing amount of Ethernet infrastructure within plants and facilities means users can now take advantage of running their I.O. signals over the plant network. This means the cost of pulling wires for new I.O. just went to zero. Otherwise, for mission critical I.O. applications, a dedicated Ethernet network can be installed at a cost and performance advantage over traditional twisted pair wire bundles. I2O means input to output communications. Acromag produces a full line of Ethernet input, output, and combo modules. Each module in the family offers up to six analog channels and 12 discrete I.O. channels. The I2O function allows them to automatically update each other like a transmitter without the need of a dedicated PLC, CPU, or controller. Communications are fail-safe and based on change of state or timed updates. One of the most important questions asked is, can I use any Ethernet media? More specifically, can I transmit signals over my existing network or over the Internet or through my preferred wireless or fiber optic switch vendors? The answer is yes. Another important question is, what about configuration? Can this technology support the need for redundant communications or sending signals bidirectionally? Can it support sending one signal to more than one place? Can the system be expandable? Most importantly, is the configuration simple along with no special software required other than your web browser? The answers are all yes. Through the use of off-the-shelf fiber optic Ethernet switches like Acromag's EIS product line, Fast and redundant communications are easily achievable. Bidirectional communications are accomplished through the use of just two combo cards for small systems. And for larger systems, modules can easily be added in pairs for expansion. The best part of all, configurations and I.O. mapping is point and click easy through your internet browser, communicating with the built-in web pages within each module. No special software is needed. Acromag's Ethernet I2O is a standalone solution. No PLC, controller, or dedicated CPU is needed for operation. Any Ethernet topology is supported. The Ethernet I2O Advantage allows users to take full advantage of new or existing Ethernet networks, including the Internet. Since the change of state or timed updates capability is located within the I.O., 
Users can apply the products in pairs across any Ethernet link. The I.O. modules are simple one-piece designs. No bus couplers, racks, power supplies, or other accessories are needed. As stated earlier, they support up to six analog channels and up to 12 discrete I.O. channels per module. Specifications are very rugged and include continuous operation over minus 25 to 70 degrees C ambient temperatures, better than 0.05% of span accuracies, three-way 1500 volt AC safety isolation, built-in surge protection, and they carry CE, UL, and CUL approvals for Class 1 Division 2 groups A, B, C, D hazardous location environments. Modules can be mounted up to 100 meters away from the closest Ethernet switch port. Fiber optics are used for mission critical applications and when distances can go up to 30 kilometers and redundancy of communications is needed. Fiber optic switches are also used to increase system security, reliability, maintain isolation in noisy environments, and to decrease the weight of the wire runs for applications like shipboard environments. Because Acromag's Ethernet I2O technology is embedded within the I.O. modules, users interested in wireless systems can now use any Ethernet modem vendor. They are no longer tied to the limitations of telemetry suppliers that bundle the I.O. with a fixed radio modem package or frequency. Plus, through the use of high-speed Wi-Fi bands, wireless Ethernet solutions can achieve throughputs in excess of 11 megabits. Systems that require wireless and high speed will benefit from Acromag's open architecture I2O solution. What industries need I2O? From process to automation to building management, if you're monitoring and controlling processes or the environment, you can use I2O. Applications for I2O include supervisory control and data acquisition systems. Using I2O as a front-end solution to legacy PLCs, RTUs, or recorder systems to monitor and control remote I.O. points, or for simply data logging a process. I2O can also be used for alarming and remote switching applications for facilities and shutdown systems. Examples may include wiring up a secondary shutdown circuit for boilers, pumps, compressors, or power systems. Most importantly, with Acromag's bi-directional capabilities, users can trip shutdown systems remotely and loop back the status of the shutdown contacts to the user for reliable and fast feedback and validation. I2O is ideal for splitter applications where signals are required to go to more than one location, such as the controller and the data acquisition system. Other applications include using I2O for tank level monitoring, leak detection monitoring, pump control, power monitoring, and load shedding applications as found in the power distribution industry.